Nurses sacrifice so much for the community and it's only fitting that we celebrate them for the many roles they play in our lives. To this end, the United Nations have set aside a week to honour nurses and midwives for their sacrifices to mankind. The week-long celebration takes place between the 6th and 12th of May every year and the theme for this year is Nurses Make a Difference. And with me in the studio, the Executive Director, Nurses on Air, I am fair, Olabi. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me on this show. Right. And I also have joining me via Zoom, a registered nurse and family care consultant, Julie Mobo. Thank you so much for being here on TBC Breakfast. It is my pleasure to be here. Nice. So talk to us. Let me start with you, um, Julie. Uh, talk to us about the significance of marking uh, this week, the National Nurses Week. Uh, thank, thank you very much. This... The celebration is very significant in, in terms of the, the fact that it is really important for the world, for the society, for every individual, institution, organization to come to the full knowledge of what nurses stand for. It is important for our voices to be heard because the, the, the nurse is a key individual when it comes to the issue of life and life is all encompassing we have this celebration one to let the world know what we stand for and why why we do the things that we do and why our voices need to be heard and also for the nurses it's an opportunity for them to come together because there are events all over the world marking this day an entire week so nurses have a little break from their regular routine. They network, they attend conferences, they learn from other people, they interact together, they acquire more knowledge. So it, it, it's, it's quite significant because the profession is noble, the profession is integral to the healthcare system. So it's important for us to have this celebration because it's, it's a kind of... Uh, a kind of break that we have, like I, like I said, an, an opportunity for the world to hear about nurses and know in a deeper level what we really stand for. All right, let me bring it to the studio. Ayodeji, what does this celebration mean to you? Like being a, a nurse yourself and someone who has been practicing for years, what does it mean to you to be celebrated this week? Globally, there are a lot of challenges that nurses are going through especially with delivering quality health care with the resources that they have, yet they still do this with their own strength, with, a, with more compassion to help patients to sustain their health and to help promote health. Despite the challenges they go through, they need more support. Despite the challenges they go through, they still do far, far beyond their own strength. This is well seen during the COVID-19 pandemic, and that is why they're saying even before now, that let's celebrate nurses globally. This started from the era of Florence Nightingale, based on a contribution to the sustainers of the health of soldiers during the Crimean War. Then yeah. I said, let's dedicate our birthday to celebrate nurses globally. Yeah. All right, um, let me uh, go back to you on Zoom, Julie. Um, the government is responsible for the welfare of Nigerians, of the people generally, the citizens on whom they you know, superintend. So taking care of the nurses and midwives is just like taking care of the citizens. So what would you say the government, how would you say the government has done or how far have they done in this regard? All right, so that's a very tricky question because if we were to look at where the ideal, where we ought to be, how the nurses ought to be placed and how much recognition is to be given to their work and their contribution to the healthcare system, we might want to say that the government hasn't really done much. But when we look at our peculiar context as Nigeria, with what we face even in other industries, we will say they've done fairly. Fairly in the terms of having a council, a regulatory body, funding to have the regulatory body to ensure that the practices are well regulated, the curricula is well taken care of. We are having more institutions come up. We are having uh, nurses being trained and pumped into the society. When we look at the clinical area, we have our government facilities, yes, that sometimes provision of a bed and a number of things. 
they are doing the bit that we that, that that they can. But when we look at the challenges that we are up against, especially during the pandemic, 2020, as bad as it was, it opened our eyes to see a lot of things, to see the gaps. There are large, the huge gaps that we have within the healthcare system. That year made the government see that there's a need. But how well have we done? There's still a lot of work to do, if you ask me. I, 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 I usually would say that the government show where their priority lies by the things that they do. There ought to be a lot more done within the healthcare sector. Now, we are not just even looking at it. A lot of concentration has been done in the clinical setting. But the healthcare institution is just one aspect of healthcare. What happens to the preventative? What happens to those in the homes? What happens to the streets? We have a lot of problems and challenges related to health on our streets. And nurses are available to take care of the whole chain from before someone falls ill to the point that they fall ill and they are within uh, on admission within a hospital setting and rehabilitation after they have been discharged. How much of understanding does the government have of the roles the nurses play? Well, Fairly, like I said, in our context, they are doing the bit that they can. But I, I, I think I'm going to ch uh, challenge the government to do a lot more because there are a lot happening in other clients. They are aware that our nurses are leaving on a daily basis. So they need to find out what is, what is it that these other countries have that is enticing our nurses? Why can't we retain them? Why are they leaving? Why are we training them for other, other nations? So these are conversations that the government should have. A lot more is still there to be done. Well, a, a, a lot more might be not might not be very specific i'll definitely come back to you you'll tell us some of the things some of the th more things that they need to put on the table but then i uh, IODG, judging from the treatment of nurses and midwives in the country you know so far does this look, looking at the welfare and all that